So just scrying the aether of paths, the angels are bidding me to relax. And once again, I'm seeing a swirling of dots. And I'm just seeing several um, three and n dimensional shapes superimposed on each other. And as with the noon scrying, they're taking the form of a person or the human shape, and I'm being bitten into the heart. So this is the divine inviting me into his heart. And he's showing me many things from within his heart. And the first thing is, it appears like a screen. And there's like, um, it's like an action movie where there are a lot of, it's a lot of back and forth. And he's saying, this is what it's like for two hearts to meet each other. Um, it's like there's a lot of back and forth as you would expect in an action movie. Not necessarily trying to hurt each other, but trying to, how do we do this? How do we do that? And just really a lot of ping-ponging back and forth, table tennis back and forth. So then there's also a more subtle version of the heart of two hearts meeting where there's a real opening up and uh, in a contradictory or paradoxical way, um, there can be a lot of the former within this. So um, in opening up subtly, and I'm seeing like, it's like a, a shell is sort of opening up from one point and spreading out. And then within, and, and that's happening with the other heart as well. And it's a learning of how to meld in a very subtle way. And then third is the union of two hearts, which is really a recognition of um, um, the inherent sameness. And within that is something like uh, a recognition of, the, of a oneness with God himself. And there's very little else. And he's saying, just sit in the simplicity of that. Just sit in that. And that's it. That's all he has. So I'm very grateful. I'm feeling my energy centers like lifted up. This was a very profound lesson. And so that, that's it. This ends the vision.